welcome everyone so today we are going to understand how to find the seventh root of such a big number this looks like a phone number trust me okay and the only provision they have given to us is that this is a proper number means here you have a proper answer there is no decimal okay it's a proper integer value okay <clears throat> So now let's understand how do we narrow down such kind of a question or how do we literally come to our solution when it comes to such a big number in what. So please understand here in this case what we will first do is that we will try and count how many numbers are given over here. So we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, total number of digits is 11. 11 digits. Now, you might be wondering why did I do that? Please understand, here we need to figure out whether we have a 2 digit answer or do we have a 3 digit answer. Now, in order to do that, we have to first understand how many digits are given in our question. And then we'll do what? 10 raised to 7 and 100 raised to 7. We will check how many digits happen to be in either of them. So 10 raised to 7, we have what 1 and 8, sorry, 1 and 7 zero, 7 zeros, okay. So I will say total number of digits happen to be what 8. Similarly, here I will have what 1 plus how much? Double zero. So we will have 14 zeros, right? So I will have number of digits to be 15. And here the question has how many digits? 8, sorry, eight, sorry, it has 11 digits. So here in this case, I can say that this particular answer will be a two digit answer. If it was more than 15, if it was more than 15, then I would have said that it is a three digit answer. Okay, I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. Okay, so now what we will do in this case is that we will first try and figure out what are the options for us. Okay. So let's write down here I will say either the units digit will be B and the tens digit will be A. Now let's understand how, how do we do this for um, how to find out what will be the value of B. Okay, so first we'll find out the value of B. Now if you look over here, the number is an odd number because it is ending in 3. So obviously we'll first look at 1, sorry, no, 1. 3, 5, 7 and 9. Why am I looking at only odd numbers? Because only odd numbers raised to the power of any number will get you an odd number. Okay. Even number raised to power of any number will always get you an even number. So this is very, very important for you all to remember. Okay. Now we'll see that for the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. What is the last digit for either of them? Okay, now please understand. 1 raised to anything is always 1. 5 raised to anything is always 5. Okay, and 9 raised to 1 gets you 9. 9 raised to 2 gets you what? 81. So, 1. 9 raised to 3 gets you how much? 7, 29. So, I will say again it will be 1, 9, 1, 9. So, obviously this is gone. Okay, so let's try and figure out what will be the value for 3 raised to 7 or what is the last digit for 3 raised to 7. 3 raised to 1 is 3, 3 raised to 2 is 9, 3 raised to 3 is 27, so 7. 3 raised to 4 is 81, so again last digit is 1. 3 raised to 5 is 8, 243, so that gets you how much? Uh, again the last digit is 3. Then Again, the 3 raised to 6 gets you how much? <clears throat> 729. So, last digit is 9. Then, obviously, the last digit will be your, that will be what? 7. If you see, it repeats the law of cyclicity. Okay. <coughs> so, obviously, 3 is gone. So, by default, I know 7 is the right answer for this particular question or so for this particular value of B. But let's see. Let's try and check whether we are right or wrong. Okay, so 7 raised to 1 is 7. 7 raised to 2 is 49. 7 raised to 3 is what? 343. So last digit is 3. 7 raised to 4. Again, 3 into 7 gets you 1. So then again, now it will be what? 7, 9 and 3. So 7 raised to 7 gets you the last digit as 3. And that is what we wanted. 
okay so i can say that value of v is nothing but just 7 okay i hope this is very very clear to every one those of you who have stuck or you do not understand how to do this please pause the video and try and you know go back and check whether you've missed out on any point or not okay now let's try and understand what will be the value of a in this case okay now here see understand how many digits we will separate or we will you know discard from your right we will dis discard seven digits from your right so we will have what one one two three four five six seven so i'm left with what one zero four six now we will see which number raised to seven means we'll say which number raised to seven gives you the answer which is closest closest to one four one zero four six or i can say it is smaller than one zero four six not necessarily closest not necessarily closest but it has to be smaller than four zero one zero four six if it is go it if it goes bigger than one zero four six then we will have to discard that particular value okay so let's see see understand here um Let's try and check for 2 because 2 is easier and let's try and check for 3 as well. Okay, so here in this case what we will do is first see 2 raised to 5. I can split this as nothing but about 2 raised to 5 into 2 raised to 2. So this comes out to be 2 raised to 5 which is 32 into 2 raised to 2 which is 4. So This comes out to be 8 and 128. So now 1046, 1046. This is quite ahead of 128, okay, but still if we will see uh, for 3 also, so 3 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 2. So 3 raised to 5 is what? 243 into 3 raised to 2, this is 9. So let's multiply this, we will have 7, 2 carry, so 6, 8, 38, 38 and 3 carry, so 9 into 3 gets you, 9 into 2 gets you, 18, 18 into 18 plus 3 gets you 21. So this is bigger, much bigger. This is much bigger than 1046. So by default, I'll say the value of A has to be 2. And we know the value of B is coming out to be 7. So here, if you see the answer, the answer for this particular question is just 27. I hope you all have understood how to solve these kind of questions, okay? The only thing you need to remember is or they have to give us is that the answer for this one has to be in a proper integer format. If this was not given, then solving it with this particular method is absolutely not possible. Okay, so that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. See ya.